Cholesterol is a kind of waxy fat. Uh, it's vital in the body uh, as a structural component of cell walls. So uh, without cholesterol, we would fall apart. But it also has other vital functions in the body. The trouble is we have too much cholesterol. Uh, and too much cholesterol causes the diseases of coronary disease, that's angina and heart attack, and leg artery disease and stroke disease. So it's a, a major player in all these uh, illnesses. Because cholesterol is a fat, it doesn't mix with water. So to carry it in the bloodstream, it has to be carried on special proteins called lipoproteins. Now, LDL cholesterol, which stands for low-density lipoprotein, is essential for growth and repair of cells, but is really the bad guy when it comes to depositing in arteries and causing the diseases that I've just mentioned. HDL cholesterol, which stands for high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, is the good guy. And if you like, it's a kind of biological hoover. And it goes around sweeping up the bad excess LDL cholesterol, the bad guy, taking it back to the liver and getting rid of it so it doesn't cause us any harm. The only way you can tell if you have high cholesterol really is to have a blood test. Uh, doctors occasionally can spot various marks on the skin and around the eyes, uh, but these are not very uh, accurate and really the only way to be sure is to have a blood test. There are some people more likely to have raised cholesterol and these will obviously include people who've run into problems with cholesterol already, such as those with heart disease, those who've had a stroke and those with leg artery disease, but also those with diabetes and those with high blood pressure. Cholesterol tends to rise with age, so as you get older your cholesterol level goes up and we know it's also much higher in men than it is in women. Treatment for raised cholesterol levels uh, is quite complex. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure that we're conducting our lifestyle appropriately. Now, this means paying attention to our diet, what we eat, paying attention to being physically active, and perhaps above all, not smoking. When we think about diet, we need to pay attention to dietary fats, the amount that we eat, the type that, of fats that we consume, we need to be very careful about cooking methods, shopping, uh, making sure that we have a balanced, healthy diet. Uh, and there's lots of information available about uh, just, just what exactly that constitutes. For some people, however, uh, just living a healthy lifestyle is not enough and the cholesterol levels remain raised. Uh, it's very important to discuss this with your doctor or nurse. Uh, and to be properly assessed for your cholesterol level. Now, what I mean by being properly assessed is your cholesterol being placed in context with your other risk factors, such as uh, whether you smoke, what your blood pressure is, what your family history is, and so on. Some people uh, will approach uh, a level of risk uh, where medication is indicated. This means taking pills, and the commonest pill to take uh, is something called a statin, uh, which perhaps over 100 million people around the world now take. So it's a really common treatment. And statins have proved themselves not only very effective in lowering cholesterol levels, uh, but we know that by taking them, you can reduce your chance of a heart attack or stroke in the future quite considerably. You can find more information and receive support on uh, cholesterol uh, from the uh, NHS Choices website. Uh, but there are other agencies that will help, uh, certainly Heart UK and uh, the British Heart Foundation both provide uh, support, uh, telephone counselling and uh, a lot of very useful literature uh, that can help you. Uh, above all, uh, you should talk to your doctor uh, and your nurse uh, who are the most skilled people and the most available people uh, there to help you with your cholesterol problem.